What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. Now, what I do here is I break down the occult sciences to a very practical level so that you can use them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results, okay? Now, what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is something that's very interesting. I think, um, I think there's definitely a lot of people that need to know about this. Um, and you don't hear too many people talking about it. Once again, like I have a lot of videos where it's there's a lot of stuff that's not being talked about and quite frankly it's because this is new information that is um, that is coming in with this new uh, with this new age that we're moving into this new mass collective so what I'm going to be sharing in today's video is what is the difference between selling your soul to a spirit what is the difference between selling your soul to a spirit and then what is the difference of making a soul contract with a spirit Okay, what's the difference between selling your soul and making a deal or making a contract? Okay, so I want to really decipher this and I really want to give you the understanding that you need to know um, before you just jump right into these ideas of, hey, I'm going to go sell my soul. You know what I mean? Things in that nature. You want to understand the energetic exchange that's happening there. Okay, so once again, just to give you a little bit of clarity on who I am, my name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. Uh, fully initiated in Kabbalah being the Sephiroth and the Klifoth and I'm studied when it comes to the tarot and I'm also studied when it comes to astrology and planetary energies things in that nature so if you want to know a little bit more about the subject that we're going to be covering stay tuned for the rest of the video Okay, so let's jump right into it. So here's the deal. So the reason why I'm covering this is one, because I have knowledge on it and I think I need to share this information, but another main reason of why I'm covering this is because there are tons of people that are starting to get into occult teachings that are very new in regards to their practices or in regards to their studies and they want to just jump right in and sell their soul, right? There's tons of people that, you know, want to just right off the bat, hey, uh, can you help me sell my soul or hey, I'm gonna sell my soul or hey selling this and selling that to be quite honest I don't get too many people that tell me about that or I don't get too many people that ask me to help them sell their soul Mainly because um, that's not what I'm about and that's just not the energy that I bring into my life Okay, people know that I'm a very serious practitioner. I'm all about understanding the science of a cult uh, of a cult magic um, and I'm all about causing change to the world that's going to one benefit myself benefit my own spirit increase my own power first and foremost, but then help um, evolution uh, Play its role as well and anyone who falls into that um, Self similarity where if they're trying if you're trying to evolve if you're in alignment with source then I want to help you do that as well because I gain power from source if I help you do that so at the end of the day I just like power and um you know, I, I like sharing this knowledge too. I like speaking. I like getting this information out there. So that's why I do what I do. Um, now, as I said, there's a bunch of beginners. There's a bunch of new people to this art that want to sell their soul, right? Um, and I would advise against that because if you really think about it, why would you want to sell your soul? What are you selling your soul for? Okay, because the reality is, is yes, there is a... Um, there is a, a way you can sell your soul. I mean, you can sell your soul. If you set up your own personal ritual, you can literally sell your soul. You can um, create your own personalized ritual that symbolizes you giving away your soul for whatever you want in exchange. Um, but I will tell you that you, what you're basically doing if you do that is you're handing away the reason why you're here and if you're giving that to another spirit I don't care what spirit it is no spirit should want you to sell their soul to them um, whatever spirit you're choosing to sell your soul to that spirit now owns you okay and that spirit can do whatever it wants with you now I'm a personal believer if you've sold your soul you know there is a way to get out of that um, but it's gonna take a lot of work and you're gonna have to go through the trenches of spiritual self-development to get out of that and that could fall along the lines of cliffothic initiation and things of that nature but re the moral of the story is you don't want to go selling your soul especially if you're a beginner it's gonna screw you up you're gonna literally I mean once again I'm a black magician 
you do whatever you want to do. The more you sell your soul, the more power I get, okay? This is true. Um, if I have power over a lot of these Cliffothic spirits that accept people's souls, and you go and you sell your soul to one of those spirits, then guess who gets that power? That power uplines to me, okay? This is how inner Illuminati, this is how inner bloodlines have been operating for a long time. They, they operate off Luciferian technology, which is the art of harnessing someone's soul fluid and soul energy and taking it away from them, producing the zero, meaning they're now in a hyper infinite less state because they're sucking out all their hyper infinity uh, to whoever is uplining that energy. Okay, so I'll, I'll give some examples later in this video, but um, back to what I was saying, you don't wanna just sell your soul. Um, and the main reason is because I want you to understand what the soul is. The soul is the aspect of yourself that is your purpose. Remember, it is the reason why you're here. So you have a spirit, your own individualized spirit that is a part of your being, right? That is, you could say, an aspect of source, okay? But you can't unlock that full power until you come to the remembrance that you are an aspect of source and there is a there is a path that you have to walk down to achieve that. But the, the totality and the reality is you are an aspect of source, you do have a spirit that is individualized and accustomed to you as your own being in your own rights, and that being has a, a reason for coming to earth. That being has a reason for having you inhabit this physical body here on earth to do something important. That is what your purpose is, okay? That is your purpose. Your purpose is directly connected to your soul, okay? If you don't have a purpose, you don't have a soul. That means your soul is shelled or your soul is, um, let's just say shell. If you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a reason for being here, a reason for being alive, that means you're currently in a state where your soul is being shelled and fed upon by some other type of apex predator, okay? And this is just a fact. Um, so as you start developing yourself spiritually and start uncovering your soul or start getting back in touch with your soul and you break out of that shell that it's hard, that it's uh, trapped within, that not only traps your um, your purpose, not only traps, uh, encases your soul, but because it's encasing the reason why you're here, it encases your energy body too. So that means when your soul is being shelled, you don't have the ability to emanate outside of the shell. So that essentially means that your psychic capabilities and your psychic powers are cut off. So you are not able to be psychic, okay? Um, now, you still, you still have an intuition because intuition is the source within you, which can tell you right and wrong, which can guide you in the right direction by feeling, but you're not going to have psychic power where you're going to be able to use your intention to manifest your reality. And the reality that we live in is that most people in our society, their souls have been shelled. Um, so for example, how does the soul get shelled? Okay, the soul gets shelled by agreement okay it's 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 uh selling your soul okay so for example um you know in hollywood you have let's say a music label and this music label has written down in the contract somewhere that you are taking part in some sort of ritualistic or you could say some sort of occult order illuminati um practice and that by signing this contract you are therefore um, opening yourself up energetically and spiritually to that uh, music label's um, influence fully. So essentially, long story short, in a nutshell, what that's basically doing, if you sign that contract before reading through the entire contract, you're signing your soul away, okay? You're literally signing the reason for you to be here away because they're presenting you with an opportunity to make fame and to make a lot of money. And if you're not trusting your intuition, if you're not trusting the source within you that tells you, hey, you probably shouldn't sign that, or hey, this isn't right for you, if you don't listen to that, then you can easily go and sign your soul away 
to a music label. So now when you sign that paper, there is an energetic exchange that is now taking place that you know, who knows what they do with that contract. I, I, I can take a guess, you know, a lot of these high end level music industries are directly connected to specific types of occult orders, which then perform ritual with the contract that has your own signature on it. And then they start influencing you and getting you involved in some of their ritualistic practices, depending on how advanced you are as um, an A-list celebrity or how how uh, how high your level is as a new artist signing to that label. They, they have to feel you out, they have to see what position that they want to put you in. And I'm not saying this happens to everybody. This is one form and one very commonly understood form of selling your soul to the devil. Now, it depends what you consider the devil because when it comes to cliffhothic Kabbalistic initiation, there, I mean, every if you know about initiation, you know there's 10 different spheres in the cliff off in every one of those spheres has at least one specific overarching spirit that's attributed to it that is known as an arch demon now some of them have two for example like thamael which would be the highest sphere in the uh, cliff off that would have satan and moloch as the overarching ruler spirits um correlating it back to that sphere thamael being the twin headed serpent um now basically what that's representing is um different levels of hell okay these spirits rule different aspects of hell on earth and just because they rule different aspects of hell on earth doesn't mean that these spirits can only bring hell into your life these are these are spirits that reside within dark matter energy these are spirits that are very inorganic very powerful um, extreme forces of nature here on earth so when you learn how to take their power, these overarching demons, then you can gain a lot of value from working with them. Then you can gain a lot of value from them because when you approach them from an evolutionary standpoint, from a source perspective, then they have no, uh, they have no choice but to serve you and but to do your will. When it comes to any spiritual force, all spiritual force serves power. So the more power you gain, spirits have to serve you but if you're unaware and you're living in a, uh, a mass collective society that's being indoctrinated and that's being um, told that you should believe this and you should think this and this is what's right and this is what's wrong obviously they're gonna try and get your mind and get your intention and get your emotions locked in on something that is not going to promote your evolution so that they can use this higher level occult technology to feed off of your energy body using the Kabbalistic system of shelling your soul and then taking the energy from it. So once again, so when it comes to these seven spheres, or excuse me, ten spheres in the uh, in the cliff off, um, specifically this is discluding death, um, as I said, they have overarching demons that rule every one of these spheres. Now, you could call every one of those different spirits a devil, okay? They all will respond to devil, okay? Every one of them could be looked at as a devil. What does devil really mean, okay? Devil essentially means um, something that goes against the system, something that goes against the, um, the mass collective, something that goes against, um, something that rebels, okay? That's essentially what a devil is. Um, that's it, you know, the devil rebels. The devil is, is an adversary, it's a challenger, but it causes challenge for a purpose. And obviously we all know that if you don't know that challenge is in your life and it has a purpose behind it, then challenge becomes your worst enemy because you're always butting heads with it and you're not learning from it. It just keeps it just keeps oppressing and afflicting you because you're too stubborn to realize, oh, maybe this is teaching me something, right? So if I want to control you, then I'm gonna make sure that you see the challenges I put in your path as something that is meant to only harm you and that you're a victim and that you can't overcome it because the challenge is too strong and too powerful for you to overcome. And then that'll just keep you in a cycle. And then as you're in that cycle, I'm able to take your energy because you're giving it all away, fighting the challenge that I've put on you. You get what I'm saying? The only way I know how to do this is because I, because of knowledge, because I, have gone through my system of spiritual self-development and spiritual quote-unquote initiation 
where I know how to move these forces. Now, I'm not the only person who knows how to do this. There are other people that do it too, and they do it on the Mass Collective. And I'm not, I'm not saying I don't do stuff to the Mass Collective. I for sure do. That's a fact. Um, I'm not I'm not a light worker by any means, but I am, as I said, I'm connected to Source, and my goal is to cause the suffering of all of these inner elites. Okay, my goal is to take them down because I want their power and the more people I put onto source the more they suffer the more power I get so it's a win-win scenario for me um, but yeah so that's one form of selling your soul when you're working with um, let's for example that music like a music industry this is the Hollywood example and they have you sign the contract now it depends what order a cult order is behind the contractor from the music industry because there's different orders that use different types of um, demonic spirits. So we have a lot that use Satan. Satan is their primary adversary. Then you have some that use Moloch. Um, some use um, Baal. You know, there's different types, okay? There's different uh, cliffothic demonic spirits that these different orders uh, use in their orders, like their primary spirits. Um, that they worship and then th that they feed in return for power from the spirit But the thing that they don't understand is that you know when you're someone like myself that goes through every one of the hell realms and Gains power from all these spirits, which is not easy by any means. I mean, obviously, it's not easy It's it, it, it yields a lot of power, but it's very difficult. Not everyone makes it through but for someone that does go through that and gains all the power from all these different seven or I keep saying seven because I'm thinking about the lower seven fiery spheres, but from all ten of the spheres of the Cliffoth, you're gaining powers from every one of those arch demons. And once again, spirits serve power. So when you're taking power from all these different arch demons, they now serve you. So that means you are now the authority of the underworld, the, the authority of hell. So um when it comes to selling your soul, there are, as I said, with these orders, that's a technology that they use to use the soul exchange to their benefit. The music industry, the movie industry, you know, any anything that they can promote to have you lose your sense of purpose and give it up because you're a victim now or you can't achieve it because you're not powerful enough. Whenever you give away that deep knowing that you have within yourself that you can be something very powerful and that you are something very powerful, that's most important, then you're, you're giving away your soul energy and allowing it to be shelled. So I gave you an example of how this happens in Hollywood. Now let me give you an example of how this happens to the mass collective, okay? Remember what I said about this, the zero state. So if we're talking about um, science, if we're going to break this down in a scientific way, what, what we're trying to do, and I'm, when I say we're, what we're trying to do, uh, I'm speaking hypothetically, um, when you're trying to drain another human being of their goodness, you want to take their hyper infinity. So I want to take the reason why you're here away from you and give that to myself so that I can do more of what I want to do or I can have more power. Now this is a this is a sketchy play here because obviously if I'm taking away the reason why you're here then I'm stepping in uh, in front of source evolution. So what that what I'm basically saying is if I'm doing that and that, if that's what my only intention is focused on then I'm putting myself in the path of potential destruction with, by source means. So that means that I'm doing stuff against evolution. I'm doing things like I'm taking your opportunity away to improve my power and to prove my life. So this would be a chaotic state. This would be a chaotic mindset and these are chaotic intentions to have that. Now, there's a difference between using chaos and using destructive intentions and states of mind to destroy someone that is already not in alignment with source to then break them out of the chaotic uh, energy that they're being uh, shelled within and then give them an opportunity to, opportunity to evolve into source or potentially sync with the 
chaotic energy that they were attached to. So it all comes down to awareness, but what I'm saying is that, you know, there's a lot of elites, and this has been going on for a while now, that have been using this technology of taking the soul away from the human being, the mass collective, um, and taking away their hyper infinity, which is their, you could almost think of the, the source link that they have, the ability to connect with source on a higher level. You take that away, the hyper affinity, and I bring it into myself, which increases my power, which increases my awareness, and also increases my um, psychic capabilities. Um, so how does this happen in our day-to-day -day life? And, and if, once again, if we're talking about science, what that does on an energetic level is creates the zero, which is the number for death. It is the zero, okay? Which can also correlate to the circle of the magician, but which is also a symbol for source. But when you're taking a human being who's unaware that exists in the mass collective um, and you drain them for their hyper infinity, then they're literally like a zombie. They're a walking zombie, okay? So how does this happen? Once again, we have corporations, right? Corporations. So if you can break down the word, you hear corpse within the word corporations, okay? So we have all different kinds of corporations, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, um, you name it. I mean, Best Buy, like all of these different corporations that tons of people work in, right? Tons of people have jobs with major corporations. I mean, I just named a handful. I could count, if I pulled up a list, I could probably name corporations off for an entire day straight. So you can imagine how many people work jobs that are under corporations, right? And how many jobs have you ever applied to where you had to sign a signature to begin working or sign multiple signatures to begin working for that corporation and if you go deeper enough into the occult you realize that these corporations are ruled by you know occultists there are occult high level occultists that have these orders that use the energy from these corporations and they perform ritual to promote that when you sign those uh, when you sign your paperwork to start working or your tax forms, that's a huge that's another huge one. When you sign for taxes, you're signing your soul away to these major corporations and you're signing your soul away to these um, uh, these elites that are harvesting that energy because they understand the Enochian technology that is going behind that with which means you're selling your soul by your own will because we live in a world where it's your will to go and get a job, right? You don't have to work for a corporation. You could run your own business, you could be homeless, but those options, you know, there's obviously a lot of people that fall in the middle of that, that are like, hey, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna run my business, I don't feel like I'm ready for that, and I definitely am not gonna be homeless. So by your own will, you're going out and you're seeking a job that is ran by a corporation, and now you have to literally sign your name away. That's how corrupt it is. Now, obviously, you know, there's other exceptions to it. It doesn't necessarily mean like you sold your soul away, now you're screwed. But for a lot of people, that that is exactly what it means. For the mass collective, that's exactly what it means. And a lot of people are unaware of that. Um, and there is a process of soul retrieval, which comes down to the darker side of spiritual evolution and spiritual self-development, especially through the Cliff Othic system. You'll definitely be able to go back down into hell Un, you know, grab your soul again and, and completely transform it into something that can never be touched and take revenge on every corporation and every elite that ever tried to harm you. Okay. So there, you know, there's a whole, there's a whole process to it. Um, but that's the potential that's out there. Now, this is just to give you an idea of what's going on. This is why we have the mass collective. This is why the mass collective acts right now in our current society in 2021, really stupid. You know, and it's just a fact, you know, I don't, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm only here to be honest. 
the Mass Collective acts really stupid. You know, they're talk they talk about things that are just very unimportant. They they're they're concerned with things that are very unimportant. Um, and quite frankly, their lives tend to be very unimportant. Um, but obviously, we're in a shifting phase where things are changing. People are starting to wake up. They're starting to dive into themselves. They're starting to say, "Hey, you know what? I have been living an unimportant life. I feel like I've been kind of giving my energy away to this system or whatever. I want to start like understanding what's really going on." So these little thoughts and this with this mass collective shift, that's going to help more people evolve. Now, there's always going to be the masses to some degree. But as I'm saying right now in our today's society, it just happens to be that the mass collective is really stupid. Like they're like monkeys, okay? Um, because you know it's been uh, you know there's been a cult psychic warfare that's been pumped into the mass collective. That's why most of the masses act very stupid and they don't have intelligence. They don't think for themselves. They just uh, 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 oh oh emotion 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 and then they just go with it. You know what I mean? I mean I. You know, look around. I don't need to explain it, you know? So that is a form of selling your soul. So now what I'm what I'm hoping that I can get through in this video is now for anybody that's like, hey, you know, I want to sell my soul. I'm new to the occult. I want to sell my soul and I want to gain power. I want to let you know that like I, I hope you get from this video that no, you don't want to sell your soul, and quite frankly, your soul is probably already sold. You get what I'm saying? Have you ever heard of somebody that's in the like someone that's in this occult field that has said, "Hey, I tried to sell my soul to a spirit, but they didn't accept it." Well, guess what? The reason why they probably didn't accept it is because you don't have a soul to sell. Okay, your soul is already shelled in the cliff off. Okay, so it's it's it to me. I'm, I mean, I'm a high level black magician. I think it's kind of funny on one end. But at the other end, I want to give you an opportunity to get out of that. But if you're not going to listen to what I have to say, and if you don't, if you're not going to take that opportunity, then fuck off. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't care what decision you make. I'm here presenting knowledge. The wise and the wise people out there listening to this are going to apply this, and they are going to use this knowledge in their day-to-day -day life to help free themselves uh, from whatever prison that they may have mentally, emotionally, and spiritually been trapped in. Um, I don't have to do any convincing, okay? I just have to share this knowledge that I know about because I've used it myself to get myself out of these situations. I, at a point in my life, my, sh my soul was shelled too. And it took a lot of hard work and I didn't have mentors. I had to find everybody online. Um, I, had to, I had to seek it, okay? I had to seek for my freedom, okay? And I had to walk that path, okay? And I, I'm still walking the path, um, but it's changed. You know, I, I went through the initiatory aspect of it, and now there's beautiful things that are starting to manifest in my life, and I, you know, I absolutely love it. And that's why I'm sharing all this knowledge, because I had to walk the path first to see and see results before I can start sharing it, you know, on my channel. Uh, not knowing what I'm sharing, but that's why I'm sharing it now because I've gone through the experience and now I'm sharing how you can do the same thing. Um, so yeah, so when it comes to selling your soul, you know, as I said, like when you're signing your soul to these corporations, you're pretty much signing your selling your soul to Satan, to Moloch, or whatever, which whichever overarching entity it is that is under the order of those um, Illuminati occult groups. Um, that are connected to whatever paperwork you're signing. I can't tell you for sure which spirit it is because, you know, that would take a lot of unpacking to do, but it's going to be, most likely, it's going to be Satan, it's either going to be Baphomet, it's either going to be Moloch, and it's most likely going to be one of those three, okay? So, yeah, that's that. So, um, this is one thing I want to say. When it comes to making a contract, that is a whole different thing. When it comes to making a soul contract, what that means is that you are calling on a spiritual force and you're putting soul energy into that force to then make a bind between you and it to get you to achieve what it is that you say you're going to achieve. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna go through the circumstances and you're gonna go through the experiences and challenges that are necessary to achieve that thing, whether you make it or not. So if you don't make it, that means your soul is now gone and you're dead and you're done. Or if you make it, you now have the power of that spirit and you are furthering on your journey and furthering with your self-empowerment, 
okay? So that's the difference between selling your soul and making a soul contract, okay? Once again, selling your soul is just giving your soul, your reason for being alive to a spirit so that that spirit can use it in however way it wants to use it. And depending on which spirit you're giving it to, for example, if you give it to Satan, Satan's a spirit that's been ruled by these inner Illuminati's for a very long time. So they can take soul energy away from Satan. Um, so let's say, for example, you're selling your soul to Satan, you're selling your soul energy to the inner Illuminati's that are ruling that spirit. Okay, now, thankfully, there's more occultists that are developing themselves through the cliff off, like myself, that have taken over the spirit of Satan and have taken over a lot of these cliff off spirits where they are now operating on our command. And obviously, as you've heard me say in this video, I don't care if you, if you make it, but I do care if you make it at the same time. It's a weird, it's a weird dichotomy, right? Like I could care less if you fail. I could care less if you crash, if you go down the wrong path, but I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you have all the knowledge and um, understanding you need to be successful. But I'm not going to go out of my way. I'm not going to extend myself to make sure I push you in that direction unless you're like one of my apprentice or unless you're somebody that I see that I need to teach in that way, which I do have a few people, like a handful of people that I teach in that, you know, as I said, in that way where I, I, I want to make sure you succeed because you have, you know, some certain people that have higher levels of potential. Um, but for the average person, you know, I'm going to give you the knowledge that you can take and you can run with and you, it can literally set you free. But also that same knowledge that I give you that you're going to do what you do with that knowledge, right? It could, it could lead you to your own, um, your own demise or your own doom or your own self-destruction, whatever it may be. Um, so that's the new way that I influence a lot of these cliff spirits. So now that I've gained their power, they serve people like me. And once again, I'm not, obviously, I'm not the only person that's developed myself in this way. There are other people around Earth that have traveled through the whole cliff optic system and have gone through very deep and far levels of um, uh, occult initiation, so to speak, in the authentic way, in the powerful way, and have maintained their soul and have maintained their spirit and have overcome challenge. There's not many, but they are, they're out there and they're there is more and more that are coming into existence as this mass collective shift is taking place. So the more of us that there are that have, you know, developed our power to high levels, the easier it's going to be for you to work with these spirits and gain the power from them because these spirits serve us. And if I am an aspect of source and these spirits have to serve source, then the source in me wants to give you the opportunity to reach source as well because remember I gain power from source but once again if you fail if you go down the wrong path I'm also I also have chaos in me as well I will gain energy from that as well you know so it's it's just a neutral balanced um, energetic state that I'm in and that you get to when you work through all these different levels of initiation um, but beforehand, before there was people like myself and self-similar, you know, you know, people energetically like me, this whole entire system was ruled by elites that didn't, don't have a source connection. Their, their source connection is very slim because they're, they're influenced by parasitic and chaotic entities that inhabit their bodies just for power so they're willing to give up their own spirit they're willing to give up their own source connection to just have money fame fortune um, and all the nice material things on earth um, when in reality that's not even the smart way to approach it because you're giving away your source connection for this quick power um, based on knowledge um, but once again, you know, source is power. There is massive amounts of power that you can gain from source. And there's also, as we all know, massive amounts of power you can gain from chaos. So when you become a source vampire, you are now a chaotic entity that sources other chaos to produce life force for yourself. Okay, this is, a, this is kind of advanced. And, you know, I'm just glad I'm getting this information out. But... I don't expect everyone to understand what I'm saying, but you know, as you listen to it and as you absorb this information, it'll make more sense over time, and that's a fact. 
Um, but yeah, long story short, you know, you don't want to sell your soul to any spirit, you know, like why would you give away the reason why you're here to another entity, another spiritual intelligence outside of yourself to just give it to that, you know what I mean? Like there's no reason why you should ever want to do that. No spirit. Um, yeah, you just want to be careful. I mean, like it just depends. It's, it, it's a slippery slope when we start talking about like no spirit would want that from you. But like you know, I work with spirits that would. They would totally take like if I if I was if I was weak minded, and I just went into it like here, take everything from me. Like take all my uh, take my purpose, take my reason for being here, and give me the give me money, give me nice cars, give me all that stuff. Then I would be I would not be who I am today making this video. You know what I mean? I've always had a sense of integrity. I've always had a, a source connection. I've always had that. And I've always had a warrior spirit. So I, I fight for what's mine. I make sure that I'm an apex predator above first and foremost. Like I don't care what spirit or what person I'm dealing with in my real life or in the astral, whatever it is, it must be understood that I'm an apex predator. I, I haven't been here. This isn't the first time I've been here. This isn't the last time I'm gonna be here. You know, I'm, I, I've, I've come here for a reason to help usher in this um, evolutionary change. And I've done many other things in different, you know, different, you could say different planets. You know, I've done, I've had many different li like, um, lives in many different dimensions. And this is not new to me, right? It's, you know, I'm reawakening a lot of this understanding in this lifetime, just like we all do when we come to Earth again. But I, long story short, like I, I'm not dumb and I'm not going to be played like a dummy. And this is a mindset that you want to adapt to yourself. Just thinking like if you're jumping into this, just thinking that all these spirits have your best intention. And if they're asking you to sell your soul to them, that they want, you know, that, that that's something they want, right? Like, like for you to just assume that that's something for you to assume that because they want your soul, that's the right thing to do, that's not smart, okay? You've got to have some intelligence, right? You've got to have the warrior spirit before you get into this stuff. You've got to be ruthless before you get into this stuff or else you're going to be fed upon. You're going to be taken advantage of, okay? And once again, I'm not trying to scare people, but I'm just giving you a reality check. This is real stuff that, that really happens. Um, and once again, if you feel like your soul is shelled in this moment, or if you feel like it's been shelled in the past, whatever it may be, if you if you have sold your soul before, it's not the end all be all. Okay, there's always an opportunity to get out of it, but you're gonna have to go through some dark shit. You're gonna have to work really. You're gonna have to work extra hard to get out of it because you got yourself into it. Okay, like as I said, I there was a point, a, a large point in my life where my soul was completely shelled. I was addicted to drugs, hanging out with the wrong groups of people, had no spiritual connection whatsoever and I was highly depressed and I was not myself. I did not act this way. I literally sounded different, I talked different, I thought different. I was not me. I was inhabited by this chaotic energy that I remember. Like if I can go back in my mind and, and pull up those memories, I remember that. But I also remember going through the journey of cliffhotic initiation with the mindset that I'm willing to die for this shit. I'm willing to die to find myself again. And guess what? I found myself. And I remember, I remember finding myself. Like in this in that journey, Cliff Othic initiation, I remember the moment when I realized this is who I am. Right? And that's a that's a very profound moment. And uh, it, it was a it's, it's a very dark path though. You know, at the same time, like it's it's once again, the warrior spirit and ruthlessness are going to be the ways that you're going to move forward. On this path because you will come across circumstances that when it comes to morals you're gonna be tested if you're if you fall into to the confines of morals and morality you are done all right because you got to ask yourself where do morals come from where were morals created what if morals were, were created by these elites what if morals were these constructs of thinking to prevent you from really understanding how to free yourself again Okay, these are all things you want to take into account. So once again, there's a huge difference between selling your soul and making a soul contract with the spirit. Once again, the soul contract, just to make sure this is clear, is you communicating with a specific spirit that you feel like has a big influence on your self-development and you're willing to put your soul on the line to get everything out of that spirit 
that you possibly can, meaning and obviously when you make sole contracts, you want to write it down, right? You want to, the first thing that you want to write down is I want all the power from fill in the blank, whatever spirit it is. Give me all your power. It's the first thing you write because then you take on that spirit's power. You completely embody that spirit and it becomes you. That spirit's whole energy field and attribution skills all become yours. Um, but what it's going to do is it's not just going to give it to you. It's going to open up the gateways, the doorways, and the channels of energy necessary to achieve everything that you have in your, your soul deal or your soul contract. And it will, as I said, it will open up the doorways, it will create the experiences, it will manifest the challenges in like very quickly to have you go through them to achieve that. Because when you're putting your soul on the line, that is a powerful energy, right? That is a very powerful energy to um, to cause change, to you know, to do those things. Um, so yes, so that is uh, very effective. But you will be put through the um, the challenges and the tests. And if you can't handle that, then you're gonna risk letting your soul get shelled. Okay. So you know, so you know, be about your word. You know, if you're if you're gonna if you really want the things you're asking for, be ready to achieve those at all costs. Be ready to be a warrior. Be ready to be ruthless. Be ready to do whatever is necessary to achieve those things. And any successful person has this kind of mindset, whether you can see it or whether it's more just in the back of their mind, their subconscious. This is a mindset every person has to have to be successful with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Okay? So yeah, so that's that, you know? The reality is, is most people's souls are already shelled. Um, the process of unshelling your soul, it means diving into the darker aspects of yourself, which, um, which causes you to lose the illusions in your life. So when it comes to your ego, when it comes to things that you may be emotionally attached to or things that you're trying to hold on to that make you feel good or whatever it may be, to unshell your soul, you have to dive into that darkness that dissolves all of the um, barriers that have been placed on you that allow your soul to continue to be shelled. And when you dissolve all those barriers, then you will have experiences where you're very receptive, but it, it may feel very like you're free falling. It may feel like you're, you're, you're now in a whole nother universe, a whole nother world, right? And the reality is, is you are going into a new universe. It's, it's going from universe A to universe B. The universe of patterns and following things to, to get certain outcomes to the universe of trusting your own spirit fully and, and first and foremost and especially trusting the feminine current that guides you to uncovering the full potential of your spirit. Um, and once again, when you when you go into that, you're going to feel very receptive. You're going to feel vulnerable. You're, you may feel innocent. You may feel like like everything's enhanced in regards to emotions or um, experiences, and that causes your shell to break because it it it, it causes certain trauma. Uh, tra it triggers certain traumatic events in your life that dent your shell, that dent the shell and eventually break it. And when it breaks, you realize that in the midst of chaos and in the midst of your biggest fears and your biggest anxieties, you're, you're actually safe. And there's something providing that safety for you. And there's something powerful that is guiding you and has always been guiding you and is always with you. And that is your own spirit. That is its own aspect of source itself that has that connection. And then you get to the, you, <clears throat> then you, you start, you know, developing yourself exponentially. Okay. Exponentially. But the way that you break your shell that your soul is trapped in, once again, is going to be diving into your own personal darkness. That is the only way you have to go into hell to unshell your soul. That's why the cliff off, for those of you that, that know, um, the cliff off stands for shells because all the different cliff offic realms are different hell realms that your soul can get shelled into. And when your soul gets shelled into one of them, then your physical body moves to the physical plane. So you're living in the physical realm with your soul in a hell realm that has no psychic powers or no psychic potential because all that energy and all the emanations 
are within the shell and if I'm someone that uses the system of cliff off or the system of understanding these different hell realms then I can feed off that energy the more your soul is shelled so the more souls that I can get shelled the more energy that's going to come back to me because I already understand how darkness works and I understand the technology you know I, like I'm not afraid of darkness so that's why it doesn't matter if you choose to develop yourself or you choose to stay shelled you know either way i'm getting energy so that's it um that's why i'm gonna wrap it up i think this video is definitely long enough i definitely know for a fact this offered somebody value this is gonna i mean not somebody this this probably offered a lot of people value this is once again this is advanced information um not many people talking about it but i'm glad to be talking about it definitely share it if you feel like uh you know there's somebody that that you know could use this information as well okay so that's where i'm gonna leave it definitely hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button i love to see my subscribers go through the roof and also hit the notification bell because i post videos as often as i can okay um now definitely make sure you go and you check out my patreon it's going to be the very first link in the description it says my patreon right next to it on my patreon i have exclusive content um for example i have a video where i actually perform um in a cult practice on camera and i teach you how to perform it yourself so that you get actual results and that practice is how to do an invocation and for those of you that don't know what an invocation is First of all, that's absolutely fundamental when it comes to really developing yourself into uh, a professional occultist. It's fundamental and foundational. Um, what that means is you're calling on an external spiritual intelligence and channeling it into your own energetic field and then taking its own power. So you're basically alchemizing that spirit's power into your own energy field or into your own uh, being. Okay, and there's two techniques to do that, which I explain in the video through sigil and through mantra. Um, and as I said, I do one on camera so you can see it yourself, and then I teach you how to do it so that you get 100% success. Um, now, what invocation does when you get better with it, when you learn how to master it, is it increases your psychic senses, it increases your psychic power, and it increases your psychic protection because as you gain power from these spirits remember these spirits serve power so then they have to protect you if you want to be protected by that spirit they follow your intention okay so that's that you're gonna find that on my patreon first link at the top and also just to mention this if you are interested in studying about kabbalah and studying about all these different spheres on the tree especially when it comes to the sephiroth the top of the tree and the cliff off the shells the hell realms i highly recommend you join my patreon because i break down every single one of the spheres from the top of the tree all the way to the bottom give you all of their attributions give you all of their symbolism and then i break down my own personal experience having work through those spheres myself uh, through my initiatory journey which is very um, I don't know anybody that has video content of their experience traveling through the cliff off uh, or the Sephiroth let alone people that have actually traveled through the system you know what I mean so that's on there once again patreon first link in order to gain access to this exclusive content you have to at least be a tier two member or up in order to be a tier two it costs nine dollars and 95 cents a month and that is a reoccurring payment but if you do the math that literally will come out to less than a dollar a day so there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that especially with the value that i have on there and i have no words you know no words outside of that like with the value that's on there you should definitely be able to afford that as you go up in tiers the benefits increase as well i'll let you check that out for yourself with that being said i'd love to give a special shout out to the top tier members of the patreon i have their names mentioned right below that patreon link so huge shout out to you ladies and gentlemen i definitely am aware of you all um, and then I'd like to give another shout out to all my Patreon members, huge shout out to all of you, and then a big shout out to all the YouTube followers, everyone who subscribed to my channel, things of that nature. Um, I appreciate you all, and huge shout outs. Okay, now next thing I want to say is go to the second link below, that's going to take you to a link that says Square Appointments. What you can do there is you can book a tarot reading with me. Um, basically what I can do for the tarot reading is I can break down where you're located in your own spiritual journey. So I connect it back to Kabbalah so what I can do from the cards that I pick is I can locate where you're at in regards to the Kabbalistic tree because remember when it comes to Kabbalah the Sephiroth that is just the aspect of life that is evolutionary 
So for people that have been going down their journey and have been approaching self-development through spirituality or through the occult, you're somewhere in that tree. You're somewhere traveling, right? You know, if you're if you're someone that's a part of the masses and just like you know just stays in ignorance, then your soul is shelled and you you reside in the physical plane, which is Malkuth. But if you're if you've been on this journey or if you're approaching this journey, you're in a phase where you're traveling through the tree somewhere, okay? And for the reading specifically, I can locate where you're at. So far for every reading I've done, I've been able to pinpoint where people are located in regards to Kabbalah in Tree of Life, and then I can tell them what it really means and where you're headed and what to expect coming in the near future. Um, so the way I do it is I do past, uh, pa uh, excuse me, I do present, cards, I do three cards, I do present, near future, and long term future. The entire reading in its totality is geared around self evolution and understanding where you're at in your own spiritual journey. Um, and I do the reading on, uh, by myself because I like to get in my zone. And then when I finish the reading, I break it down on my phone, I record an entire video of what everything means, and then I send you the video once it's done so you get your own personalized individual video. Um, that is less or uh, excuse me. It is a minimum of 30 minutes long, but it could be longer I have videos that have gone longer than that um, So that's yeah, so that's the reading right there And once again, you can book that appointment in the second link below for square appointments The reading is going to be $40 um, But there also is an option if you want to leave a tip um, If that's something that you wanted to do But the only thing that I require is your feedback at the end of the reading because I like to collect all the feedback and so far Everything has been great feedback. I have it all on my phone right now. So, um, yeah, that's it. Other than that, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.